Folks, um, sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, uh, my name is Brian Wheeler. I'm from Adidas Wearable Sports Electronics, and uh, you folks heard from my uh, colleague Kazar at the keynote address over, uh, over the lunch, uh, or after lunch. I'm here with Bryce Beamer, who's uh, uh, another colleague. Uh, Kazar talked quite a bit about our team sports system, and so I'm going to try and keep this mercifully short for you because you know uh, much of, uh, of what I could say about this. Um, so what I think I'm, I'm going to do is simply open up with a video um, which uh, describes the way the, uh, the system is used in practice. Uh, it was um, produced by uh, one of our groups uh, with the product marketing manager, Matt Heimers, is the, is in a starring role. Um, and then after that, I think I'll simply um, open up the program for, uh, for questions here and uh, see if there's any uh, questions. There was a lot, of, a lot of people came to me after the uh, keynote, and uh, we had some interesting discussions, so maybe there's some questions left out there. Um, so here we go. Here's the video with Matt Heimers starring. My name is Matt Heimers. I'm the project manager for My Coach Elite, which is a state-of-the-art physiological monitoring system made for football. The brain is, is the base station, uh, which you can see here. And what plugs into those are the player cells. Each player will individually have one of these and it fits nice and snugly into a tight tech fit underlayer. This measures speed, distance, heart rate, acceleration, and a GPS, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, a magnetometer, and also collecting heart rate off the body. This then communicates to the base station and from there, the information is displayed within a second, live on an iPad. So I can go back as a coach and look at the entire session. I can mark drills, I can do training sessions and plans, and I can see exactly what all my athletes on the field have done. We began with AC Milan as part of our original research into technology and going out and visiting teams, and it was apparent right from the start that they are way more advanced, certainly in the football world, than any other teams out there. They have their Milan lab there, which is focused on getting everything out of their athlete, monitoring them to the absolute tee to ensure that they're at peak physical performance. We're really just looking to add an extra layer onto that. We have worked with them on various elements of the system, including the actual fit of the shirts, what metrics to display, how to display them, and how to actually make information useful for a coach. We've prototyped with them, we've done many, many testing sessions with them, and they were, of course, the first team to get what is now a finished product. We are really looking at what we've done now with My Coach Elite as the first step in what is going to be a very evolutionary process. Okay, so that was um, kind of a, a brief overview of the, the system and some uh, shots of it uh, being used. Um, what I'd like to do now is uh, show some of the uh, user interfaces uh, screens that uh, we have on our iPad. Um, Kazar mentioned that one of the, um, uh, the key elements of this product isn't so much the wearable part of it, but it's the turning data into useful information. And um, this is something that uh, is uh, key to uh, any advance in wearable sports or wearable electronics or wearable technologies, um, getting away from the idea of presenting uh, uh, data or presenting things in a kind of a raw form, but really understanding the user's application, really understanding uh, the user's needs and uh, presenting um, inform data in, in, a, in an informative and useful way. And this is an example of that. This is uh, our heat map technology. Um, where we take the location information which is derived from the players and allow the coaches to look at the relationships between uh, two players. Uh, they might be an attacker and a defender. They might be uh, uh, two defenders that are, are required to uh, maintain an orientation and keep the game uh, a certain uh, strategy going in the defense. Uh, in this case, you see um, a Mr. Fernandez and uh, Mr. somebody whose name I can't pronounce. Um, and the heat map is describing the, um, the locations of these players over a particular period of time which the, uh, the coach can select. Um, and uh, 
if you can imagine this in a, in a, a situation where a defender is supposed to be covering an attacker, you should see them covering uh, um, the heat maps, uh, paralleling each other, for instance. Um, but this is an example where you have location data, which is uh, sort of a, a, a not very interesting uh, stream of numbers, uh, and turned into something which is visual and easily understandable. And this is um, going to be the key for, for many other um, wearable technologies and uh, sensor systems that might, uh, might show up in other products. Um, let me see if I can show you a couple of other screens. Um, this is an example of uh, our heart rate and, uh, and speed uh, screen. Um, the key feature here, this is, um, you, you might, might uh, think of this as sort of a, an intermediate step between the, uh, uh, the visualization uh, screen I showed earlier and, and a sort of a raw data screen. But in this case, we've, we've applied relative heart rate zones and speed zones uh, in the form of uh, uh, multicolored bands across the screen. screen. So um, the coach can easily understand where that player is in relation to uh, certain targets and, uh, and certain uh, limits. Um, and this is an, uh, an, an example of a screen which would be available for any of the players wearing the system. Um, I think at this point, if uh, what I'd like to do is just open it up for questions. Um, you heard so much about the system from Kazar that um, I can't add too much uh, now, but if you have specific technical questions, for instance, that weren't addressed, I've got a couple of them span over, over here. We use GPS technology, so it's uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, we've implemented it um, in a fairly robust way inside the player cells, um, so they've got uh, pretty sensitive antennas as opposed to what you might find in a, in a cell phone or um, you know, even, a, even a, a, a commercial GPS unit. Any other questions? Where? So that is something which I think is yet to be determined. Now, this, this product entered the market uh, in December of this year, and it's been used uh, a good bit, but we are still out there talking to the teams and, and talking to the coaches and understanding how they're using it. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's, uh, it's, um, uh, we're using the Adidas relationship with various teams and leagues like the MLS. Um, to really understand how this product can be used to uh, improve training. And um, we'll make enhancements to the system as needed to, uh, um, to fit it to the way teams actually operate. Um, the real-time data is available, and uh, the iPad interface makes a really convenient on-field um, tool. Um, but uh, I think you know, how it's going to be used and how it's going to be used efficiently in training uh, is information we're still gathering. Are we out of time? Yeah. Yep. Yes. It's um, it's redundant information, um, but. It, there, being as it's a wireless technology, there is always the chance that some of the information will get lost because of aggressors, uh, EMI, and things like that. So, uh, you get a complete set when you download it, um, and you know any holes get filled in. Um, so that's why that's the way that works. I think that's going to have to be the last question because I'm out of time. But uh, thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.